Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today we're going to talk about invasive automolive and I'm actually joined here by MDC's Ted Seiler and he's going to show us how we can get rid of that invasive nasty tree, that shrub and what you can do to do that by cutting it and getting uh, getting something on it to make sure it'd be gone and hopefully not come back, but sometimes it could. But there's he's going to talk about that. So let's turn this around and talk with MDC's Ted Seiler. All right, Ted. So right here we're looking at autumn olive. What? Why is this invasive? First and foremost, and where did it come from? And how do we know why it's autumn olive and all that? So yes, this is autumn olive. You can tell the one of the easiest ways to distinguish it is it's kind of got that whitish color on the underside. This time of year, it really shines against the other trees and things like that. So it's a good time of year in the spring to get out and take a look at it. Also, it does stay green a little later and it greens up before some of our other natives. So it's really easy to identify at those times of the year. Um, it's invasive, it's from Asia, um, I believe mm -hmm. it's Asia, yes, Russian olive. And um, it, it's very prolific. At the fall, this thing will just be covered with red berries. And those red berries, the birds like them. That's really why it was brought here, is partly to help with the bird food. And that kind of backfired on us. But it just covers in red berries. And so it's, it spreads everywhere. It'll take over open fields. It'll take over the understories of woodlands. And it'll prevent your natives from being able to grow. Mm -hmm. And that's not a good thing. So what we want to do, is there's, there's several different ways to, to treat it. We can cut it off and treat the stump. That's what we'll be doing today. You can spray all the leaves. Once they get so big, it gets to where you're spraying everything in a 30 foot circle around it. So that becomes less desirable, but on smaller plants that works pretty good. Um, so those, those are the two most common ways. Um, today we're going to cut them off and treat the stump with pathway, or you can use Tordon RTU. Those both work really well to, to kill that root. Now, the one thing to keep in mind is if this thing has produced berries in the past, it, it's dropped a lot of seed right there. So don't cut it one time and just walk away and assume you're done because there's a good chance some of those seeds over the next couple of years without this one shading them out are going to take off and we'll need to do this all again. So after you've treated an area, you want to look at it a year or two years down the road and make sure everything's still dead. What about burning it? Will that have anything to do with it? So burning will do a really good job of top killing it. It'll set it back to where maybe we can foliar spray if that's what we choose to do, but it, it doesn't kill it. So um, it's, it's good for setting it back, but it, it's not the end all. All right, so, so invasive species, uh, something if you see this treat it get on it real quick so that we can eliminate where can you find out more information about how you can treat it and so forth uh, best thing to do I'd say is call your your private land conservationist but there's all kinds of resources on our website we've got a, a fact sheet about in or some invasive species information on our website and it does show it but if you think you might have it if nothing else you can call your con your private land conservationist and send them a picture and they'll tell you yes that is invasive autumn olive, so you should get rid of it. And yes, if you can get rid of it when there's just a few plants, that's far, far easier than waiting until you've got a whole farm full of them and then getting rid of it. All right, I really appreciate it, thank you. I'm gonna echo what he said. Get online at mdc.mo.gov and search autumn olive and it'll tell you all the information you would like to know about this invasive species or contact your private lands conservationist by going up to the contact and engage and finding the county you're in and you should scroll down and be able to find your private lands conservationist. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.